Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of Sims 2 Let's Play Pleasant View. So today we are with the Goth family. We are with Mama Goth herself, aka Dina. Uh, I can't believe it, but she's actually, she's, she's finally a goth, right? But she's carrying a goth baby, which is exactly what she wanted. She wanted to get pregnant because, of course, Mr. Mortimer is, well, it doesn't tell me how many days away he is from dying, but he's he's getting there. He's uh, 62 days old. <laughs> he was pretty old, so she knew that. And obviously, she weaseled her way in, got the money as a little gold digger, and now she's pregnant. And this was really just her... Just really nailing the head on the coffin. I don't even know what does that even mean. That's probably not even the right expression. I don't know. But she knew this was the final thing that she needed to do in order to keep this money. Because he's going to pass away. You know, Cassandra's moving out. And she needs an heir. So he can have, you know, obviously leave money for his son and carry on the goth name. And, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't see her really being a good mother, honestly. I just, I don't care for Dina. I think she's manipulative and a little crazy. But, you know, whatever. I think that whoever her child may be, whether it's a boy or a girl, we're going to need baby names. So, be sure to leave those you know, suggestions down below. Um, but whoever he or she may be, I think that she is going to train them to be as manipul manipulative and uh, ratchet as her, probably. Uh, I hope not. I hope maybe they will come out with a little sense, but you never know. Also, Alexander has aged up into a teenager, and he is absolutely handsome as can be. He's telling a joke. He, I don't even think he properly knows his stepmom. See, no, he doesn't. That's awful. You need to definitely come over here and talk to her. <laughs> but he aged up, and he has the knowledge aspiration because I just see him, obviously, being very, very smart. He was very smart as a child. And I can see him being very interested in what happened to his mother. I know in previous generations of the game, he actually, like, wrote a book, like, what happened to Bella or where's Bella, something like that. So I can imagine him being, like, in science. He wants to go to space. He wants to get abducted. He is on the search to find out what happened to his mom and maybe he can write about it too i think he has a fun story so i'm excited to start playing a little bit with alexander um he's getting along with dina pretty well but at the same time he's not stupid i'm sure he knows what's going on and cassandra is over here she's studying her cleaning because i believe yes she needs one more cleaning skill so we can get a promotion but she does not work today and she will be moving out soon too because i'm going to try to have her marry darren in the next part and also we have a butler now because Dina took it upon herself to hire a butler because, I don't know if y'all have noticed this or y'all know this, but obviously, obviously, the Goths are rich. They are the richest family in Pleasant View. They are very wealthy. They have been throughout every generation of this game. But specifically here in The Sims 2, their assets come from, like, their savings and just, like, money they have put back because their house and their, you know, material things don't add up that much, you know? So, she took it upon herself to hire a butler because they've never had anything like that. Not even a maid because Mortimer likes to clean. Mortimer likes to do all of that stuff. Um, Cassandra likes to clean. Cassandra likes to cook. And Adina was like, oh, hell no. I'm not about to start cooking and cleaning. I am your wife, but I ain't about that life. So, she hired a butler to do all of their dirty work, all their cleaning, all their cooking. And Mortimer just really can't fight her on it. And Cassandra is just like, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. <laughs> but anyways, that is what is going on. It's currently Friday. So, I believe Alexander, he, yeah, he's going to go to school, like, now. Um, yeah, you need to finish eating. You need to go ahead and go to school. And she is not very far along in her pregnancy. I played, like I said, obviously off camera. Some things have changed. Ew! Ew, Mortimer! She just freaking farted in his face while he is eating. D Dina, I did not think that you were like that. I am appalled. I am just completely shocked at you. I'm just appalled. That's disgusting. 
<laughs> That's funny, though. Anyways, she almost, yeah, she's almost, oh, she did get there. Okay, you're there, you're there, you can stop. Um, she probably needs to go actually take a nap or something. We may hang out with Darren since she is not working. Um, what is she doing? Cleaning? Oh, she's actually, cl oh, she's cleaning the dishes. I was like, what? She's cleaning the sink? This is not like her. Also, this was Alexander's room, and we're going to use it as the nursery once the new baby is born. Uh, so, obviously, we're going to get rid of that funky wallpaper and carpeting and do something a little bit different. We don't know the gender of the baby yet. And then we are going to, I don't know what we're going to do with Cassandra's room. We'll figure it out. But I did give Alexander this room upstairs because I feel like, you know, he would want to be away from the craziness. And so I gave him this nice little room. Um, this painting of Bella was actually previously downstairs above Mortimer and now Dina's bed. And Dina thought that was creepy as hell. So she was going to, you know, throw it away. She had it out by the trash can secretly. And Alexander came home from school and seen it. And he was like, uh, no, you're not throwing away a photo of my mom. So he, obviously he put it in his room. And that's his inspiration. He is on the hunt to find out what happened. Uh, this trick is insane Mortimer if I was you I would freaking run because I this pregnancy is getting to her head she's she's nasty she's farting and now she's freaking rowing and hoeing in the freaking boat look at him looking at her <laughs> oh my god I can't deal I uh, stop please stop you're stressing me out okay please use the restroom just be an adult be an adult okay Ah, <sighs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna shoo. Really? You're gonna shoo? She can't even use the restroom in front of him now? Is that the way it's gonna be? You're gonna get knocked up and then not want him even looking at you while you potty, girl? Please. Oh, my God. What is she doing? Writing in her diary. I'm pretty... Oh, I didn't tell you. I was going to tell you. To come up here and sleep for a little bit because she stayed up all night long, of course. But yeah, uh, he also needs to take a shower. Their needs deplenish so fastly in The Sims 4. I don't understand. She's like shocked to see him naked. She's like, ew, ew, so many wrinkles. See, she's actually appalled by him. Obviously, she married Michael Bachelor, and he was old, but she just got his money, basically, and an in and a closeness to Mortimer, and definitely had something to do with Bella's disappearance, so I really hope Alexander gets to the bottom of it, but I, I'm sure his dad beat him passed away by the time, um, but yeah, go ahead. Well, I don't know. You probably need to sleep for a little bit, too. I don't want y'all to be up all night long. Um, and I also can definitely see Dina trying to have an affair with the butler because, like I said, obviously, she's not completely, like, in love with the Mortimer. She does not think he's, you know, freaking 10 out of 10 sex appeal, you know. She wants a boyfriend, and her and Don broke up, so I don't know. I feel like she would try to have an affair, and he's right here under our nose all day, every day. I'm not really sure if she's interested in him. They have, um kind of a chemistry not too much of an attraction to each other but the the experience i've had with mr paul here and dina is he's not really interested uh, she's pregnant um i don't know maybe the butler wouldn't be the best person to have an affair with because he's he's a little too serious about his job you know so we may have to you know, find dina another boyfriend for sure because oh i mean really now the phone's going to ring Okay, cool. 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 Go ahead. Answer the phone. Mortimer, go ahead. You're, you're the first one up. Go ahead. Alexander's grades are slipping. Alexander, your grades are slipping to a B plus. Oh, we need to do your homework then. I think that I was neglecting his homework because he usually, when he was a child, yeah, he stacks his homework about here. I mean, what the hell? Okay, do we have to do... I guess we do have to do our old homework. Maybe, maybe not. Where is he going? Is he... Yeah, why does he always take it over here? Oh, look at his little outerwear. He's so cute. I didn't even have to give him a makeover. He just naturally looks like good. Alright, so let's go ahead and just like drag all of his homework upstairs, I guess. 
And we'll pop it. I want to get him a desk. I meant to get him a desk. I don't know why I got him a little chair, but I didn't even get him a desk for his homework. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking, but let's just go ahead and stack it all up right here. He's got some work to do. When he aged up, we also aged up his friend. I forget her name. Was it Vivian? Viviana? Something like that. I'll look in a second. Um, they're, they're not really friends, but I wanted him to know a teenager, you know, just so at least he'll know somebody and we can maybe like go on a date with her or she can be our friend. I don't know if he's interested in boys or girls. I'm not really sure. I have to play out Alexander. He's one sim that I really haven't played much with, even, you know, in my past experience with the Sims 4 and whatnot. I've just, I've never really paid much attention to uh to mr well i guess we can just leave it here to alexander so oh, shoot i mean why okay hold up let's see we need to make this they're not a darker wood i wanted to go darker but i guess that's as dark as it's gonna get that'll work whatever and let's get a chair all right so let's go up here and do our homework oh no he actually has he really probably needs to take care of his his skills, not skills, his, his needs and stuff. So let's have him come down here and take a bath or something. Okay, this this girl, who is he talking to? He's been talking to her forever. Vaz, Vamzy, go. Mortimer, do you have a girlfriend on the side? Is Mortimer actually playing the player herself? He's just going to throw it down on the floor. Okay, whatever. I just, I don't even care. I don't even care. Oh, crap. We probably can wake her up now. She'll be up all night long. Yeah, she's good to go. All right. I think we're going to... Yeah, let's, in, let's go ahead and invite Darren over. We haven't seen him here at the Goth household in a minute. So, let's... No, 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 no. She's taken an interest in painting. I guess, you know, Darren's rubbing off on her. She is always up here trying to paint. But, okay. Alexander is feeling a bit hungry. So, let's get on here. And, I mean... Yeah, invite Darren over. Invite over. Uh, let's in, uh, yeah. yeah, let's invite the household over. Let's invite Dirk over, too. That way, Alexander can have a friend. He needs a friend. So, let's invite Dirk over as well. Um, and also, no, don't go down here and play with this. I need you to I mean, influence him to cook a meal. I mean, he doesn't do any. I mean, he doesn't do anything. They're trimming our bushes, and I'm complaining because he's not doing any. Why can't he serve a meal? What? What is these? What What does this mean? What, what? What? I don't know what that means, but I guess he can't cook meals for us. All right, so Darren is over, and Dina better back the hell off. Cassandra will snatch her weave straight out of her hair. And let's have Alexander come over here and greet Dirk, you know, so he can have a friend. I don't think Dirk has too many either, so Cassandra's like, what the hell was that, huh? <laughs> you want to explain? You want to explain? Alright, he's like, really, nobody's gonna give me any money? I mean, it's just my own house. I already have, like, half a million dollars, but, like, what the frick y'all are gonna give me but ten dollars? What? Okay, why are you talking to her? No, you're not supposed to like her. I invited Dirk over to hang out with you, so please don't be rude. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, and Mortimer is making us some chili con corn. Look at how the food looks. That is disgusting in The Sims 2. The food looks like really gross. So he is serving. I love Mortimer in The Sims 2. I just think he is a good little guy. I know some people think that he has something to do with Bella's disappearance because um, his memory of it is actually green, which means it's positive. But I actually read that the reason his experience is green while Cassandra's and Alexander's was red, like a negative experience, is because he's a knowledge sim. So, sims getting abducted by aliens is kind of like a cool experience for him because he's knowledgeable and all that, you know. But I really don't think that he had anything to do with it. I definitely think it was the Caliente sisters and they bribed John into helping. But, anyways, I love how he just, like, puts the food on the freaking floor. And I hate you can't drag it like you can here in The Sims 4. Um, is everybody, she's over here entertaining. But you need to come over here and grab a plate. I need everybody to eat. Alexander. 
eat please oh he's telling him good job i'm so proud of you for growing up into a fine young man and see alexander i think he's i, I have faith he's going to get into the bottom of what happened to his mom and he'll find justice for his dad even if it happens after his dad passes away. See, she does not like Cassandra. She doesn't like the Goths. She just wants their money. And she is ecstatic that Alexander's growing up. He'll be out of the house soon. She's got to marry him off after, you know, Mortimer passes away. And she is thrilled to be getting rid of Cassandra. So, I mean, she just thinks... Mommy Dina here just thinks that life is just great. Just, it's great, you know? I don't really, I feel very uncomfortable with her chatting with Darren because I know she's a little snatch. But, okay, okay, look at them too. Shake it, okay. She's like, yeah, daddy. Oh, ew, that was, that sounded just, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's come up here and take a shower. I don't like saying, yeah, daddy, in a sexual sense because it just reminds me of, like, my dad and... If a boy ever asked me to call him daddy, I'd probably throw up and never speak to them again because, I mean, that's just, I ain't about that. I just, ugh. Actually, you know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to have Cassandra and Darren try for a baby now, even though they're not married. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> the way I think is... You know, when you skip households in The Sims 4, there's no really story progression mod or mood or mod, whatever, you know. It, it doesn't work here in The Sims 2. So basically what would happen is we could get her pregnant and in The Sims 2 it takes a day, pretty much a day and a half or something like that for her to even uh, change into her maternity wear, for her pregnancy to even be official. And so in the next part with the Darren and, and Dirk Dreamer, they're going to get married. I don't know where they're going to get married or how it's going to go down, but it's happening. So it, she shouldn't be showing her anything by that time, but she's going to find out she's pregnant. So we're scheming, we're doing it. If it's possible, is it possible? Let's see. Yes. Let's ask Darren to join us. I believe, yeah, Alexander's cleaning up. And then I know we invited, where did Dirk go? We invited Dirk over for a friend. We have not even talked to him. Oh, now he's eating. Well, are we getting along with him? I was going to have him go do his homework and stuff, but, you know, I think we really need to make a friend and not be rude. So once he gets done <laughs> using the potty, we're going to go take care of that. And what is she up to? She really needs to use the restroom. Did that, oh, I thought that said jump on the bed because she's a child. She acts like she's 12 years old, still in her sister's newspaper and whatnot. Okay, okay, let's come over here. They've never even woohooed before. <gasps> Trapper baby, here we go. I don't hear a baby sound. Maybe it didn't work. I don't think it worked. I didn't hear a baby sound. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Whatever. I, we tried at least. So maybe we'll try again later, but uh, that was what I was going for. Oh, looks like they're getting along really well. Alexander is making friends. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know about that. If I just met somebody and they started tickling me, I'd be like, what the hell? Get your hands off of me. I don't play when it comes to tickling. I don't think tickling feels good. I think it hurts, and I ain't about it. I ain't. I, I'm not ticklish on my stomach or anything. It, I think it hurts, but if you tickle my feet, oh my gosh, my feet are really ticklish. I can't stand. My boyfriend knows that too, and he'll always walk by when I'm in the recliner or in my little chair or whatever that reclines back. A recliner but it's it's not a recliner it's the couch and it just lifts up you know like a recliner anyways what why am I explaining that anyways <laughs> he always walks by and tickles my feet and it freaking pisses me off so bad all right so yeah they're making friends and it's getting late so he'll probably 
I mean, they don't even have a TV, but Mortimer does not want a TV, and I don't think he'll get away with, um, or Dina will get away with purchasing a TV yet until he leaves, or leaves, <laughs> dies. Is she in his bed? Dina, get the hell out of his bed. That is not your bed. Go in here and take a shower and get in your bed. Like, ew. He'd probably be disgusted and burn his sheets if he knew your ratchet self was in his bed. But between you and me, I'm not going to tell. Okay, I'm not. Alright, so. Yeah, let's go up here and stargaze for a little bit. Because I do want him to be interested in that. Because I believe he will be on the search for his mom, like I said, and he knows, does he know, I don't remember, is that in his memories of his mom being abducted? I don't think so. Maybe? No, I don't, I don't see it. So he doesn't, he was not there apparently when that happens. Um, so, but he, he has heard, he knows. So, yeah, let's have him come out here and do his little stargazing here. And, um, I want to get a picture. Don't mind me here. Actually, y'all, I think I want to go ahead and wrap this part up here. So, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And for our question of the day for the giveaway, I actually have come up with a few questions I prepared ahead of time for season questions. I know I said in the last video that I posted uh, I'm having a hard time. I'm just going to ask random questions and eventually I may end up just asking random questions. But I put together a list and actually Shay or Shannon, um, she goes by both I think, <laughs> Shay Simmer, Shannon, um, she's really sweet. But she sent me a bunch of different questions too so we'll get to hers eventually. But because it is summertime, here and everywhere I think well I know it's not officially summertime until like June something June but I mean it's it was freaking 90 91 mother freaking degrees this this morning at nine o'clock when I went to work no, yeah mm -hmm. so don't tell me it's not summer because it is freaking like hell out here in Alabama so all I can think about is summer so my question of the day is what is your favorite summer song what do you like to jam out to in the summer because there's just songs that go so freaking well with summer and they're just summer jams I have a new one every year but there's one that is it's just my vibes I vibe to it and it's summer nights by Rascal Flatts You know, I love it. It just puts me in the mood. And right now, I'm actually vibing off of Kenny Chesney's song, Get Along. Um, I don't know. It's just a really fun song that puts me in a good mood. And I just really like country music in the summer. I don't know. I guess it's because I'm from the South. But I just I like it more in the summertime. I don't know. But anyways, let me know what's your favorite summer song, your favorite summer song to jam out to, you know, with the windows down in the car, whatever, at the beach, at the lake. What's your favorite song for summer? Leave it down below so I can go listen to it. And thank y'all for watching again. <laughs> Subscribe if you have not, and I will talk to y'all later.